hey guys it's Dapsy. welcome to my youtube channel i want to show you how you can create a mock-up of your website if you start designing websites you will get to some point where you need to design mock-up of your website or maybe general mock-ups not necessarily for your website and for example if you are a web designer like i am if you design website for client you might be designing a website that will require that you create more cups of products. For us to be able to create a mock-up of our website, I've been able to snip uh, the front page of my website, both on web view and also on mobile view, and I've been able to import it into Figma. I use the default Windows snipping tool to get this done. So I have two snips here for my web view and also one snip here for my mobile view. It's not compulsory for you to use your default snipping tool. You can use a website called site-shots.com for you to get a very good detailed snap of your website for example if i copy my domain here and i come back here i paste that here i can choose several options here from the left hand side here whether or not i want to have a full size uh capture of my website and i can also set the resolution that i want we have different resolutions for different devices for desktop android and also iOS device. So if you're trying to create a mock-up of your phone for iPhone 6 or iPhone 7 or iPhone, whatever you want to do, then you know what to select here. And also for different Android device, but for the purpose of this example, I will just test with a desktop. And let's just work with 1920 by 1080. And then we can come up here and just hit this short button. So as you can see here, I have a full snip of my website here. How amazing is this? So I can come down here and then download this into my computer. So I can toggle off the full screen and then do the computer view like this. This would be super useful for you if you want to maybe design a portfolio where you want to show a screenshot of the website that you have designed. You can create a mock-up with a laptop that can be clicked and then in a light box, we can see a full screenshot like this. Inside of Figma here, we can use some plugins to do mock-ups for this. The first plugin I will recommend that you look at is called Adboard Mockups. I will leave a link to this in the video description. You can just check out this plugin. So if you come down here, I can open this up uh, in Dapps tutorial. To come in here, I can just uh, toggle this to open up the plugin view and then I can run it. In your case here, you would need to create an account for you to be able to use this plugin. So right now we have this plugin here. I can just create this so that we can have a decent view. They have a lot of uh, pro elements here, but we just want to toggle this on to just see uh, the free element that we have. So you can see here, they have option here for a laptop and a mobile. You might want to go that route. You might just want to go the route of mobile device, whatever device you want to use. So they have quite a number of options here. And I think this is quite very, very good. But also this example, uh, let's just work with this. Good. So I can just uh, drag this away. So now we have a mock-up here and we have an, a blank frame here. So we can come down here. I can just... Uh, zoom this out a little and then I can drag this frame just somewhere down here and also this device somewhere down here. What I can do now is just to drag this here so we can just uh, make sure that this fits into the device. So I'll just zoom this in here. So that's it. Once the image fits into this frame, then the next thing we can do is just drag this up here and then we select the frame and then you can see we can render selected frame. So that's it. We now have our mock-up here on our device here, and this is good. So the next thing is for us to run this for our iPhone here. So I will do this. And what I can do is to just duplicate this image. Maybe I should do that. I can then now bring this down here. I can just shrink this into the frame. All right. So that's it. Uh, we have this done already. So I will click this iframe as well, and then I will run selected frame. Just like that, we now have a mock-up ready for us to use. So zooming this in, we can then see exactly what we have. So maybe let's close this plugin. Uh, we are done there. Here is what we have, and I think this is good. So right now, there's another plugin that we can use that can give us a 3D effect. It's called Clay Mockups 3D. The link in the video description too as well. So let's open this up. Uh, let's open this with Dabs tutorial. So we have uh, this uh, plugin here, so we can just choose to run this plugin. So we have this plugin here ready for us to use. As you can see here, they have different devices as well, so we can play around with 
iPhone 11 like we are seeing here and also a MacBook Pro and uh, we're gonna play with that eventually let's just play with this first so if you click this right now you can see that you can turn you can play around with this and just have this 3d effect and that's quite beautiful right and this is so super simple and easy to use that we can just go to any element that we want to use like this right now we can just click this and that's it we now have this mock-up super ready for us to use how amazing is this depending on how we want to use it uh, we can turn this flip this over uh, so i might just want to leave this something like this and then i think this is good enough and then i can come down here again for the device you can play with colors here to change it from white to blue to whatever you want to do the option is available for you here so what you want to do is just hit the save image that's it this will save that image into our figma project so we have our image here how amazing is this super beautiful clean and super easy to do so i can just scale this down and just have this at corner here in my project so we can still bring back this tool so we can still come back to our plugin and then still bring back clay so this time around we don't want to work with iphone uh let's work with a macbook pro and then we can select our image here that's it just like that we now have our mock-up ready so as usual we can play around with this uh we can set it up however we want to uh that's literally up to us uh so that's it here we can change the color of the device if we want to or the frame and then we can save the image into a figma project so that's it here we now have another image here for our laptop view so isn't this amazing that can be a perfect mock-up for your website or for any website you are designing you want to showcase on your portfolio or you want to use for a client in a project that you're doing and i think this is super amazing so finally you can just uh download this into your computer so once you click on any of the image you want to download you can come down here and come to export and you can export this as a png or maybe as jpeg svg pdf whatever you want to do png is okay here and i can just hit the export button and i have this ready in my computer so i can open this up that's my 3d mock-up right there how amazing is this so you can go experiment with these and let me know your results in the comment section if you find this video quite useful give me a thumbs up uh let me know exactly the results you got in the comment section i'll look out for them that's my time for this tutorial i'll see you in another one and until then stay safe